So when I have somebody that comes to me and they're concerned about a mole, the first thing I want to find out is why they're concerned about it. You know, are they concerned about it because it's changing in some way? Um, or are they concerned about it because they don't like the way it looks cosmetically? Um, if they're concerned about that it's changing in some way, it's really important to find out how is it changing. There is a normal evolution of moles, a normal way that they change as you get older. Um, oftentimes, when you're younger, moles start out as flat and darker in color or brown in color. And as you age, they might become more raised and lose some of their pigment or become less brown in color, more tan or pink. That's normal change of a mole, and if, if someone comes in and they're concerned about that change, I'll look at the mole and I can often reassure them, this is completely normal. Um, moles do change as you get older. This is the normal change. If someone tells me that a mole is getting larger in diameter, is changing colors, has bled, has developed some notches or some irregularity to the outer contours, those are more concerning changes. Um, again, I will examine the mole, um, and depending on what I see, um, those would be changes that might be an indication to do a biopsy of a mole or sampling the mole to have it looked at under the microscope to decide if it's still a normal mole or if it is in fact changing into something um, more worrisome, such as a melanoma or an atypical mole. When I look at um, a melanocytic lesion that has been biopsied under the microscope, I kind of take, try and take into account various aspects. Um, and those various aspects include kind of the age of the patient, um, how much sun damage they've had, um, where on the body it is located, just because all of those things can really kind of affect um, what the lesion looks like under the microscope and the ultimate um, diagnosis. Um, when we're looking at melanocytic lesions, um, we also want to be sure and be able to communicate with the physician, um, you know, is this something that they can just watch um, and, you know, monitor and make sure, you know, there's no additional changes going on or is this something that really needs to kind of be removed and, and taken care of. And then obviously, you know, in the worst case scenario is this a diagnosis of melanoma and what kind of information can we provide to the clinician that will then help determine how they counsel the patients and guide treatment. So the treatments for benign nevi are basically either doing nothing since they are benign. We, if we've diagnosed that over with a microscopic diagnosis from a biopsy, um, we don't need to treat that any further. But if a biopsy shows us that this patient has melanoma, then um, further treatment is needed, and it is based on the the depth of that melanoma. The if it is a thin melanoma and caught early, then the, the first treatment is just to excise that, um, that skin cancer. If the melanoma is, is deeper than a uh, standard excision would be recommended, then we would um, send the patient on to a surgical oncologist.